Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. In today's big news video, we will be discussing about an outbreak of a new virus that is the Marburg virus that is now being reported in the Equatorial Guinea country of the African continent. Now, this is not the first time that this is a virus that has been spreading in various parts of the world. In Africa, in fact, multiple such outbreaks have been seen in the past. Thus that, this is the first ever outbreak in Equatorial Guinea and that is why it has come in the news. The second reason why this is such a serious news for the scientific experts from across the world is that the fatality rate of this virus, that is, the percentage of people who lose their life after getting infected is extremely, extremely high. At a time when the entire world is still trying to overcome the harmful impact of COVID-19 pandemic, some nations are still worse off than other nations because they don't have vaccination for COVID-19 even today. At that point of time, a new virus emerging causes a lot of concern among the scientific community. Now, this virus, as I told you, is a highly, highly virulent disease and the fatality ratio can go up to 88%, meaning that out of 100 people who catch this virus, 88 might end up losing their life. Another cause of concern is that it is of the same family that causes the Ebola virus disease. Just as the other virus diseases, the usual symptoms are high fever, severe headache and severe malaise. Many patients also develop very very severe hemorrhagic symptoms within 7 days of catching this virus. Now, just like Ebola, this virus also originates in bats and then spreads to the humans through direct contact with either the fluids of the infected people, surfaces or other materials that have come in touch with this virus. It was first identified in 1967. So this again shows you this is not a new virus at all. There are many nations that have already seen the outbreak of this virus in the past. The dangerous part here is that there is no vaccine or antiviral treatment that has been approved specifically to treat this virus. Yes, there are certain care provisions that have been told by medical experts to people around the world. For example, ensure that you are rehydrating with oral and intravenous fluids as much as possible. The symptoms can be treated and that might improve the survival rate of the people who catch this virus. There can be potential treatments including blood products, immune therapies, blood therapies, etc. But so far as we discussed, no treatment, no vaccine or no medicine has been officially approved as a treatment for this disease. Now, this virus usually results after you have a prolonged exposure to mines or caves where you have rusitus bats colonies. This also spreads from human to human transmission, either direct contact with the blood, secretions, organs or other bodily fluids as well. So very very similar to the COVID-19 virus. It can also spread when you use common beddings or clothing as well. There has also been a record of healthcare workers being infected with this virus, especially when they are treating people who are suffering from this virus. This has actually spread from close contact with patients, when the infection control precautions were not strictly practiced in the hospital facility. The burial ceremonies also have to be taken care of very very strictly because as you saw with COVID-19 pandemic as well, there are various ways in which such viruses can spread. The burial ceremonies that involve direct contact with the body of the diseased person may also contribute to the transmission of this virus. Now, as I said, there have been multiple such instances of such a virus being found in various parts of the world. It has been found outside Africa as well, as you see. Germany, 1967. 29 cases were found, out of which 7 lost their lives. Kenya, Uganda, these countries have had multiple instances of such an outbreak. And now, Equatorial Guinea has also reported the same for the first time. Now, while the bats are considered to be the natural host for this virus, there is no specific certainty that only bats can cause this disease. There is no apparent disease in the fruit bats themselves who have this virus. Thus, this virus may overlap with other range of bats as well. For example, the African green monkey that you see here, which are important from Uganda, were the source of infection for human beings in the first ever outbreak that took place in Germany. The experiments have also been carried out in various other animals. In fact, pigs should be considered as potential amplifier host for the outbreak. Now, those animals which usually have this virus already present in them also play an extremely important role in the research. When the scientists have to replicate this virus, when the scientists have to see 
how the particular virus is reacting to a certain form of treatment. They need those animals which actually have such viruses in large quantities so that they can extract these viruses and research as much as possible. Precautionary measures are also needed in pig farms in Africa because the pigs can also be infected when they come in contact with fruit bats and that may also spread to human beings in the coming days. Now, if you look at Equatorial Guinea, as you can imagine, this is one of the poorest countries on the face of this earth. That is why they do not have a lot of healthier workers who have been trained for this. Even when you think that you need to quarantine people, even setting up quarantine facilities requires a lot of capital. And this is where Equatorial Guinea is lacking. This country has quarantined more than 200 people and they have restricted movement last week also after detecting these kind of cases. The neighboring country of Cameroon has also restricted movement across the border. Now, they have already registered 9 deaths. They have also suspected 16 other cases of this virus with the similar kind of systems including fever, fatigue, blood stain, vomit, diarrhea, etc. Now, the major cause of concern is, as you know, in today's globalized society, there cannot be a disease that is restricted to only one single country. Doesn't matter which country you're talking about. Talk about Ebola, talk about COVID-19, any disease, any viral disease that you can think of, it might start in one single nation, but it doesn't take a long time before it spreads across the entire world because the movement of people, the movement of products is so widespread across the entire world in this era. And that is why this should not be seen as a problem that is only affecting Equatorial Guinea or African continent because before it gets too late, it might actually spread to other parts of the world as well. And that is why any research, be it a research for treatment, be it a research for medicines or vaccine, must be taken at a priority level rather than just laying back and thinking that this disease is being confined to only a few countries right now. This is it for today's big news video. I hope you learned a lot of new things today. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not hit the subscribe button till now. Bye-bye. Have a good day ahead. Jai Hind.